Cursed Shadows, The Haunting of Ravenswood Forest. In the dense forests of the Pacific Northwest, where ancient trees towered like silent sentinels and the air crackled with an otherworldly energy, there existed a town forgotten by time. It was called Ravenswood, and its very name whispered tales of darkness and despair. Legend had it that Ravenswood was cursed, its soil tainted by the blood of those who had dared to disturb the slumber of the ancient spirits that roamed the woods. Few outsiders ever ventured into its shadow confines, and those who did rarely returned. One fateful summer, a group of thrill-seekers set their sights on Ravenswood, drawn by the whispers of its haunted past. Among them was Sarah, a spirited young woman with a fascination for the macabre, and her friends, Alex, the adventurous soul, and Mark, the daredevil who lived for danger. Armed with cameras and camping gear, they embarked on their journey into the heart of darkness. As they delved deeper into the forest, the air grew thick with a sense of foreboding, and the trees seemed to lean in closer, as if eager to swallow them whole. Night fell like a shroud over Ravenswood, and the group made camp beneath the shadow of a gnarled oak. Around the crackling fire, they shared ghost stories and laughed nervously, trying to shake off the unease that clung to them like a second skin. But as the hours passed and the fire burned low, strange things began to happen. Shadows danced in the darkness, whispering secrets too terrible to comprehend. The forest itself seemed to come alive, its ancient spirits awakened by the presence of intruders in their domain. One by one, the group began to disappear, snatched away by unseen hands, or swallowed whole by the yawning abyss of the forest. Sarah, Alex, and Mark found themselves hunted by an entity more ancient and malevolent than anything they had ever imagined. Desperate to escape, they stumbled upon an abandoned cabin hidden deep within the woods, its windows shattered and its walls stained with the blood of those who had sought refuge within its walls. But as they barricaded themselves inside, they realized too late that they had walked into a trap. The cabin was not a sanctuary, but a prison, a twisted labyrinth of corridors and hidden passages designed to ensnare those foolish enough to seek shelter within its walls. And lurking in the shadows was the true horror of Ravenswood, a being neither alive nor dead, hungering for the souls of the living, as the night wore on and their hope dwindled. Sarah and her friends were forced to confront the darkness within themselves, to confront the sins of their past and the secrets they had buried deep within their hearts. Only by facing their fears could they hope to escape the clutches of Ravenswood and the entity that dwelled within its depths. In the end, only Sarah emerged from the forest, her mind shattered and her soul scarred by the horrors she had witnessed. She never spoke of what happened in Ravenswood, and those who dared to ask were met with a haunted gaze and a chilling silence. And so, the legend of Ravenswood lived on, whispered among the townsfolk and passed down through the generations as a warning to those who would dare to disturb the slumber of the ancient spirits that dwelled within its depths. For in Ravenswood, the darkness never truly sleeps and those who seek to uncover its secrets do so at their own peril. You can watch many interesting story on my channel, don't forget to subscribe.